everybody, it's Axel Bunny Rabbit, and today I'm going to be showing you some really easy homemade bunny treats. For your treats, you're going to need one carrot, half of a banana, an eighth a cup of water, and half a cup of oats. Get a bowl big enough to mix your mixture in, and add your oats. Get a smaller bowl and peel your banana, and put your banana in that bowl. Then use a fork and start mashing your banana. You want to mash your banana until it's smooth without any chunks. Once your banana is mashed smoothly, set it to the side. Take your carrot and a grater, and I washed my carrot, and I also have some paper towel under my grater to catch any of the um, extra things, and grate your carrot. Once your carrot is completely grated, get all the extras off of the grater carefully so you don't cut yourself and empty the grater onto the paper towel. Make sure you get all of your carrot. Set your carrot to the side and heat your oven to 350 degrees. While your oven is preheating, take your bowl with your oats and add your carrot. Now add the mashed banana into your mixture. Try to get as much of the bowl out as you can. Start mixing this together and slowly add your water as you mix. Once your mixture is mixed evenly, get a pan and apply your mixture onto the pan. <coughs> Use your hands or the fork to evenly spread the mixture across your pan. You want it to be pretty thin. Once your oven is done preheating and your mixture is evenly spread across the pan, add your mixture into the oven carefully and bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once your um, treat thing is done and out of the oven, you're going to want to let it cool for a while so that it's um, workable. Then you're going to want to take a knife and you're just going to want to start cutting it into pieces. I'm going to cut it in half first, and then I'm going to cut it diagonal. The diagonal the other way. So it's kind of like a little pizza. I'm just going to start cutting it like this way. And you just want to cut into small pieces. So my house cooled when I was done cutting it, and then I had it sit for about 12 hours overnight before I took it off. And now I just have these um, little pieces in here of the treat. And my bunnies go crazy for this, so you should definitely make it, and I'm sure your bunnies will love it.